Hey people, it is Saturday, August the 6th, and the time is 6.20 in the evening, and it's currently a disgustingly hot and humid 31 degrees Celsius with a humidex of 40 degrees Celsius, and I hate it with a passion. But Megan loves it because she runs at a regular temperature of about 100 degrees Celsius. Yep. <laughs> it's like being in bath water. Right? It's lovely. And we're going to be walking from here at Gerard Street East, right by Allen Gardens. Basically just coming off of my block here. And we're going to be walking to Pie Restaurant, which is a Thai restaurant in the entertainment district on Duncan Street. And we're going to go have some pad thai. And then later on we'll be doing a live stream in the evening. And we're walking directly into the sun right now. So we're getting all that heat. And there. already I can't stand it. <laughs> so hopefully we get out of this direct sunlight. We're going to make our way west to Young Street. And then we're going to walk south along Young Street. So we'll walk on the shady side of the street once <laughs> once we're there. And this restaurant we're going to is considered the best Thai restaurant in all of downtown Toronto. I'm not sure about the city as a whole, but it's the most highly reviewed or best reviewed Thai restaurant in downtown. Definitely looks promising. I've never actually been there before. Mm -hmm. But... And I've heard lots of good things about it over the last several years. So we're going to go check it out. Yeah. I used to work for the marketing company that did their PR. Although... You worked you work for the marketing company? Yeah. That did their PR. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I was not, like, on their account, so I didn't have much to do with them. But my company did represent them. Okay. And you might know that I love burritos, but what, what, what you might not know is that I also love pad thai. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're trying to figure out where to eat, and Ken was like, I want pad thai. And I was like, I want a sit-down dinner in a restaurant. Because he just wanted to get pad thai in like a food court. Yeah, because like, there's a really good place in a food court that I would often get pad thai. Right. Yeah. But... Your girlfriend is visiting you, so we go to eat at a restaurant. So a food court is just too pedestrian. Yes. <laughs> For plebs. Right. We eat at restaurants. <laughs> right. Oops. And we're just crossing Jarvis Street. And maybe if I laid on the charm, I could have convinced Megan to go to Hooker Harvey's here for dinner. The famous Hooker Harveys, that's what? right. Why are Hooker Harveys? Because <laughs> at one time it was known as a hangout spot for ladies of the night. Oops. Well, I'm not, I'm not I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that happened. What, what happened? Oh, I went to like, spit out my gum, but then it like landed on the ground and I didn't want to pick it up because the ground was dirty. Oh. And now I feel bad for littering. See, that's why I don't chew gum. But, it's a real dilemma. <laughs> I'm That's sorry, why every every time you've ever asked me if I wanted gum, I've always said no thanks. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what happens. Yeah. I feel so bad for littering. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> so here's a shady spot. So this isn't so bad, although it's still humid and disgusting. It's not like hot, it's just humid. It's hot also. Well, it's not that hot. 31 degrees is hot. Oh, it's, that's like normal <laughs> summer weather. That's not normal summer weather, no. I think 24 is normal summer no, weather. No, that's like cold. That's oh my summer, god. 24 is like coming off of winter. <laughs> oh my god. See, this is this is who I'm dealing with here. Someone who lives in basically the real life earthbound version of what I would consider hell. 
<laughs> well, I mean, that is true. I do have anxiety. When you have anxiety, you are basically living in hell. I'm talking about temperature here. Oh. Your preferred temperature. Yeah. Approaching Church Street. Yeah. Uh, see, my skirt's getting all tangled in my legs. This is why women in the past were smart. They wore petticoats so that their skirts did not end up like getting stuck between their thighs when they walked. Right. Like mine is right now. <laughs> so it looks like I'm wearing pants and not a skirt. Right. <laughs> the Girard Street section of Toronto Metropolitan University, which used to be called Ryerson once upon a time. Yeah. I would always just call it Ryerson. Yeah. They've already started changing the signage here, like on this pole yeah. here. TMU, I guess, yeah. No one's going to want to say all that, you know, when they're just nope. casually mentioning it. <laughs> Even University of Toronto, the mouthful, people just say U of T. Yeah. Looks like we have a fire truck situation up here. A boutique hotel. Did a video walking around in there shortly after it opened. Yeah, that's a nice IKEA. It's like the only IKEA I've ever been in that didn't make me like feel suffocated the second I walked in the door. Really? Yeah. yeah. Most IKEAs are just like so busy and hard to navigate, but that one I walked in, I'm like, oh, this is civilized. Yeah. Okay. It's a lot smaller too than a yeah big suburban IKEA, which, which yeah. I think is why because it just was like more of a compact size. Right. And there isn't like the whole warehouse like. 
in suburban Ikeas, you have to go get the furniture from the warehouse and that can be really overwhelming. But at that Ikea, you just like scan the QR code and then it'll bring up your, like the website and then you can check out online and then they deliver the furniture to you and right. you can like arrange a delivery date. So it's kind of nice that way. Yeah. Made it to Young Street. So, what side of the street is the shady side now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll go to the other side, and if we find one side to be shadier, then we'll switch over later. <laughs> yeah. So look north. was one of the places that I did look at when I was looking up downtown Thai restaurants. Oh, Thai, thai on Young, yeah. And the reviews are decent enough and all that. Looks like you have to go through the upper level to go into that restaurant. A lot of these places on Young Street, you either have to go down below a level or you have to go up above a level to get to the restaurant. There's a really good Korean barbecue place around here somewhere. <laughs> you probably, you, I don't know. I mean, they do have vegetarian options, but you wouldn't get like the full experience. Right. Because they, there's like a little barbecue pit at your table, and then they bring you your meat, and then you cook it at the table. Oh. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Young Street's pretty hopping right now. I think downtown will be busy tonight, well into the evening. Yeah, it's a hot, steamy Saturday night. I think a lot of people who don't have nice air-conditioned apartments will want to be outside to get away from, you know, their apartment, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Probably also like a lot of people have been holed up during the day, I would imagine. Yeah. Like not wanting to go out. But that's, as, yeah, that's right. Yeah. As the sun goes down, every single one of them. Right. That's why we waited so long to like go out for dinner because it's like I don't want to leave at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon when it's, the sun is like at the <laughs> Right. And we've got Muzak at the warehouse. I've never tried the warehouse yet. Every time I walk past it, the music is kind of obnoxious and annoying. Yeah. And I just think, do I really want to go in there and sit there and try and eat? The food has good reviews though. I've never been yeah. in there, but it's one of the places that I've are they really gonna demolish that food truck? This across yeah. the street? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be replaced with a uh, with a condo. That's so sad. I suppose. Condos. I think we do need more condos, but yeah. Okay, yeah, we need more affordable condos. <laughs> we don't need more fancy million dollar penthouse suite condos. There's only so many billionaires in the city. Yeah. They probably already all have condos. So. But I think that spot is prime for redevelopment right on downtown Young. That used to be the site of the Empress Hotel, which was an historic old hotel dating to the 19th century. And it was destroyed by fire, I think in 2011, under suspicious circumstances. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. Someone bring it down, right? It seems that way. Yeah. So that they can develop something, right? Well, that's... One of the things, one of the possibilities, anyway. Yeah. 
coaching Young and Dundas. You were right, there are tons of people. Yep. And you were right about the Muzak at Young and Dundas. <laughs> so maybe we'll just hightail it past here <laughs> as fast as we can. There's a look west down Dundas. And oh, he's doing a cover version. So it's a guy singing over the beat. <laughs> All right. That sounds kind of horrible. <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> let's, let's get away from here. <laughs> it sounds terrible, dude. <laughs> yeah. I guess when he's rapping, it doesn't sound all that bad, but <laughs> the singing part was not so good. So far, it's been a shady walk down Young Street. <laughs> yeah, both sides of the street too. Good. How's your grumpiness level? Well, it's, it's not so bad. Okay, that's good. Hot, humid weather makes me grumpy. So. Yep. You're super grumpy when you pick me up. Also. Yeah, last night I was quite grumpy. Yep. I could tell as soon as I saw you when you walked in at Union Station, and you just looked like. <laughs> <laughs> you like a plant that I've built it. Right. <laughs> you had this look on your face like, yeah. oh my god, this is actually torture. Yep. Yeah. And that place is new. It's getting close to opening, I think. Yeah, that would be fun. I'm not sure what all that honking's going on over there. Is there some reason to continually honk like that? Is there some sporting event that I'm not aware of that? That could be. <laughs> you saw someone to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could pop in house and say hello. Mm, I'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just some some crazy guy. <laughs> I think it's just some crazy guy cruising around, being happy. He's like being joyous and happy and honking his horn. <laughs> He's just overcome with happiness about something or other, sharing it with the whole city. 
I'm sticking with my theory that he just won the lottery. <laughs> yeah. I would totally do that. If I won the lottery, right. that like one billion dollar jackpot that they had oh, last right. week. Yeah, God, yeah. If I won that, that's your right idea. Driving around the city honking obnoxiously. Yeah. <laughs> then I would drive straight to the airport, get my blood on a plane, I would go to Paris, and then I would buy an apartment immediately. Like, that's the first thing I would do. Yeah. You don't have to. Here's Hendrix restaurant. We came here before. It was pretty good. That was a good thing. And I had the veggie burger. It was quite good. Yeah, their fries were really good too. Yep. Yeah, the fries were good. Yeah. <laughs> These are like really old shoes, and the the bottoms of the heels like have come off, so they make a really loud noise. <laughs> no, I just showed everyone your shoes. They're if good. they're wondering what that noise is. <laughs> So walking at this slower pace also makes it less likely for me to become sweaty. So yeah, this kind of works working a little bit for me. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a little yeah. Bit of a breeze yeah. yeah. If I was walking at my regular pace, I'd be probably sweaty and full-on grumpy by now. Yeah. <laughs> the downfall of walking really fast. Yeah. And here's Queen Street. Five hundred one Queen Street car. Saks Fifth Avenue and the Hudson's Bay Company store. And then up there is Nathan Phillips Square, Toronto City Hall. Your favorite windows in the whole city, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. I don't think I've ever described any piece of clothing as delicious in my entire life. Look at that color. God, I just want to eat it. Or scrumptious. <laughs> Last thing I notice. I know, <laughs> yeah. 
And I'll like notice a person's clothes and then I notice them. <laughs> and here's Richmond Street. I just wear clothes basically so I don't get arrested for indecent exposure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would go shirtless in public if it wasn't frowned upon so much. I know. Like this guy. See, he doesn't give any F's. He just goes around skateboarding without a shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it either because you have such a nice body. Like, just, your torso is very aesthetically pleasing. Well, so you're one of the people who can gotta, walk around in public and you wouldn't like make people's eyes burn. I gotta keep it covered. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Temperance Street. There's a really nice restaurant right here, and also they have a lovely patio up on the second floor. Oh, look at the puppy. It's like Jimmy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I buy my protein powder. A Popeyes? Popeyes, yeah. Unless I find it on sale at like Winners or Shoppers Drug Mart or something, then I'll buy it there instead. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And here's Adelaide Street. So now we're going to start heading west. We'll say goodbye to Young Street. Nice knowing you. So we're going to cut through part of the financial district. And the restaurant itself lies in the entertainment district. get my power bar ready because I see my battery on my Osmo Pocket is getting close to dying. This was once the Trump Tower. Now it's the St. Regis Hotel. He doesn't actually own it anymore, does he? 
No, no, he never really did own it, even when it was the Trump Tower. Really? Yeah. So who owned it? Some other people, but... Weird. So yeah. Why was it the Trump Tower? Just it was just home? part of his... His Trumpness, you know? I think he had, like, a hand, of course, in the development of the building and all that, but... Sure. Yeah. Whoa! I don't think he owns most of the Trump Towers. I think... His name is on them, but he does not own them. I think maybe he owns the one in Manhattan. And that's it. And that might be one of the only ones. And maybe one in Atlantic City, maybe. Nice. And here is Bay Street. another place with obnoxious music that kind of wards me away from ever going there. It's a good place to go for like drinks after work. Like like a 5 p.m. happy hour kind of place. Yeah, so you've been? Yeah. 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 They have like appetizers and stuff. Right. Mm This is not the same shepherd as the one in North York. I was wondering, so I was like, yeah. Young Street is way back there. How is that possible? And also, Shepherd is at East West Street. Yeah, so this is Shepherd Street, whereas up in North York, it's Shepherd Avenue. Gotcha. Yeah. And this is just a, basically a one block long street. That's it. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, well, that's not East West. <laughs> Lamps. Now this is the old concourse building. They like tore down the original building. The original concourse building was demolished and then they rebuilt the facade of it in front of this new office tower. So it was an historic old building at one time. Now to like buy energy stocks. No. It's supposed to show what I know about investing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Look at this statue. Yeah, it's the big giant head. Its actual name is Dreaming. Yeah. I just call it the big giant head though for yeah. obvious reasons. <laughs> cool. Yeah. cool how like the statue seems to age as you walk around it. <laughs> it looks like a baby over here as you walk around it. Almost yeah. like and it's wide on one side and really skinny on the other side. Yeah. Neat. Yep. My battery is still going. I haven't plugged in my power bank yet. Once it turns red, <laughs> then I'll have to plug it in. Ooh. 
There's another shirtless guy, see? Yeah, see? It's good enough for him. Why not for me? Your body's nicer than his. Yeah. It's always like the guys who actually do look good without their shirt off. They're the ones who never take their shirts off. <laughs> Part of Adelaide Street is not terribly lively, but uh, Adelaide Street's kind of boring. Yeah, I mean it's you know, mostly just a one-way traffic funnel through the financial district, yeah. really. There's like not a lot going on. Yeah, it's more interesting just up ahead in the entertainment district. At least there's restaurants and things like that. Yes. But there are a few restaurants here on this area, but not all that many. Oh yeah? yeah? Oh no, 28. Yeah. Why did I just see 33? Am I going crazy? No, 83. That's what oh, it okay. was. I don't think that's right. Oh, the shade of that. Should we cross? Yep. Alright. We're going to be halfway over when the light turns red. Oh well, I think <laughs> University Avenue. This is where the financial district transitions into the entertainment district. late one night but then like put on a wig and dress up as something like someone different and then we could like role play a scenario you know <laughs> like you're some like pi who's been hired to like track down this dangerous dame who's suspicious and i'm the suspicious dame you know oh, well, well, well. so i like show up in a trench coat and a wig you know like a dark short blunt wig and sunglasses but then I have like lingerie under my trench coat, you know. Wow, you've really put a lot of thought into this. I yeah. have. I, <laughs> yeah. I think about this a lot. And then you like buy me a glass of champagne, try to get me all liquored up so that I talk, you know. But then I'm not giving up any secrets. Do I get to talk in like old fashioned 1940s, 40s slang? Like, of course. Like, listen up here, see? <laughs> of course. Yep. And then when you like can't get any. What are you trying to pull on me there, are you dame? <laughs> You crafty dame, what are you trying to pull? That's right. And then when you can't get any information out of me, then you have no. to seduce me and take me back to your hotel room. Okay, well now it's finally getting good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then like the next morning you learn that the tables have turned when actually I was the one who seduced you. Oh. And I like stole your information and then left a lipstick mark on the mirror. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh uh, yeah. Right? Part of it would be. Yeah. Part of it. <laughs> yeah, but you have to have the build up. That's like part of the fun. <laughs> I would totally go all out too. I would wear like a red silk flip cap. And, like red lipstick. Can we switch? This this end is supposed to go in the power bank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Oops. Wrong end. That bodes well for our little tete a tete. Put the wrong end in there. Okay. Alright. Just gotta plug in the old power bank here. There you go. Alright. Oh, is that your wind muffler? Yeah. That's cool. So. Hmm. I don't know if my power bank has any power left in it. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let me try it again. 
You know what? I don't think it does. Oh no. Well, that's what I get for not charging it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap up the video. But we're almost at the restaurant. Duncan Street is literally just the next street. Yeah, I guess we would have crossing Adelaide just right up ahead. So we're about a minute and a half away from the restaurant, so I think it's safe to say we've pretty much arrived at our destination. So thank you very much for accompanying us on this walk through downtown on this hot, muggy Saturday. So leave a comment below if you enjoyed the walk. Let me know your thoughts. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store and the recently enabled Super Thanks button right down below. And you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum, and you can find Megan on Instagram under Megan Sandor. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back, because as always, we will continue. We will continue. And I'll just let it keep recording as long as the battery has some life in it. Maybe we'll make it to the restaurant before it dies. Look at that, we made it. And now the video will end for real. <laughs>